Too many families are struggling to keep up with their bills. Inflation is robbing them of gains they thought otherwise they would be able to feel. I get it. That's why my top priority is getting prices under control. All right, uh, there you got uh, the current president, Joe Biden, saying inflation was his top priority. And just two years later, he's pushing for more taxes uh, on his swing to Scranton yesterday. Current uh, Donald Trump economic advisor and former White House economic advisor, Stephen Moore, joins us right now from D.C. Stephen, good morning to you. Good morning, Peter. Good to be with you. Peter is my son who travels with the president. Oh, Peter's, I am <laughs> Peter's <laughs> dad. <laughs> my name is Steve, the same as yours. All right. So anyway. Steve, sorry about that. That's okay. So, Stephen, um, the current president's got a problem. And that is, if he wants to get reelected, inflation's going to have to go down and interest rates are yeah. going to have to go down. And neither are working out for him right now. Um, so that's right. And, and by the way, I want to review just very quickly what happened with inflation, because, you know, when we were working with Trump, the inflation rate when he left office, Peter, was 1.6 percent. We never had an inflation problem when Trump was, Trump was president. Then Biden comes in and in 18 months, I don't know how he screwed things up so quickly. We went from 1.6 percent to 9.1 percent inflation. Right. Now, it came down to about three and a half percent. But the latest reports are telling us that we have not slayed the inflation dragon it's going up again right. and that is that means that you know you look at groceries up 22 percent you look at people's rent up 35 percent gasoline prices up 40 percent people are getting completely financially uh flattened by this and none of these other the, yeah. remember the inflation reduction act yeah. i don't think that worked <laughs> where's no the kidding. inflation reduction i know uh, but at the same time you've got joe biden yesterday he was talking about how you know i want to raise five trillion dollars over the next 10 years and to do it you're gonna have to jack up uh taxes on people who have right, been right. successful and big corporations once again it is class warfare it's essentially the Robin Hood thing. Steal from people who've got it and give it yep. to people who don't. Yeah, and, and here, look, here's the problem. Is there any country in the history of the world, certainly not the United States, that got, get, that got rich by raising taxes? No, it's not going to work. And it's exactly the opposite of what Reagan did in the 1980s to rebuild the American economy. Right. And under Trump, we cut taxes. We had the lowest unemployment rate, lowest poverty rate in American history. I, I'm sorry, socking it to the rich is not going to make America a richer place, especially because those people he's talking about uh, taxing uh, Steve, are people who are the job creators, the right. small businessmen and women who go out there and employ people. But that's what he's running on. Uh, Stephen, thank you very much for joining us live. By the way, I meant that as a compliment no, when I, I called, I, I when know, I called I you Peter. My mother-in-law you know, calls he's me the better, Peter. He's the better looking one in the family. <laughs> he actually is. All right, uh, Stephen, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> See you soon. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.